What is the best video editing software for a low specs PC or a notebook? Hey everybody, my name is Marcus Stone and in today's video I want to share with you the three programs I choose what are the best for PC or laptop with really low end hardware. Before we start, I'm a video editor. I edit in all of these free programs because I want to find what is the best one. Two of them are paid programs and one of them is free. The first one I want to present you is Sony Vegas. What I like about Sony Vegas is the editing mode there. It's really simple, it's lean, it's a paid program, but you can torrent it from a torrent. You can download it for free, but you shouldn't, but you could. <laughs> and that's kind of it. So if we go to the program, right now I have a footage here of uh, some highlights from StarCraft 2 game tournament. Uh, if I compare Sony Vegas to DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere, uh, Sony Vegas doesn't have so many effects, but is the most leanest program between these three, between uh, DaVinci Resolve and Adobe Premiere or Adobe After Effects. What I like most, I'm not going to teach you how to edit because it's really simple. I'm just pressing S to cut the videos and I'm moving footage right now. But what you can do, right now here where I'm clicking, you can see the preview mode. The preview mode is the most important thing while editing because if your preview mode is lagging like in Adobe Premiere, what you, how can you like have the video? It's it's delusional you can't do that so here for example let's say that you have really weak computer or a notebook what you're going to do is just press best and change it to preview half and right now the quality of the video of the preview video is a little bit low it's not that low you can still edit you can still see how amazing it is but it's much more smoother you can even, if it's like really bad, you can change the, the preview to draft and to half. And you can see the quality is much lower, but still you can edit. It won't lag. That's why um, Sony Vegas is amazing. I'll be honest, I do most edits in Sony Vegas and post-production I make uh, in uh, Adobe After Effects or in DaVinci Resolve by Showing you Sony Vegas, we will go to the second program, which is for free and it's named Olive. Olive Editor is startup version of a video editor and developers are working on it a lot. Also, it's really pretty easy. I'm just going to take the media. I will just put it here. And you can see it right here. It's not lagging. It's really clear. Wait a second, I will change the volume and a lot of people are editing in it because for some reason it's free and it's really really cool what it lacks is the transitions is the effects and etc but for the basic editing olive amazing choice and i honestly like it so this is olive this is the second choice you will have all the links in the description and the third choice the last one the third choice, which is not lagging at all, and it's a paid program, it's called Filmora 9. What I like most about Filmora 9, it's that the effects and transitions you got there, the titles and many options you can do, you can choose. It's really, really cool. So for example, if I go to transitions, you can see plenty of transitions here. You can use, for example, I don't know, let's edit it. Let's cut the video here. Let's zoom it a little bit. I want to show you something. And now, for example, when I'm going to put an orb, yep, it's a really cool way, like that. Orb. And let's look. It's amazing program, but it's a paid. You need to pay money for it. You can also torrent it. I'm not going to say that you should, but you could. <laughs> and yep, yeah, also the preview mode really amazing, really lean and really smooth. So yeah, these are the free programs that you can use. And my recommendation, start with the Olive. If you want to do basic editing and not hardcore transitions, it's all right to start with Olive. If Olive won't be enough, go to Sony Vegas or Film Filmora. And if you start making money, please pay for those programs. <laughs> Write me down uh, in the comments 
what program you want to use and why you want to use that and also what are your specs of computer and I will try to give you the feedback what program is the best for you thank you all again and goodbye